very good morning to everyone watching. Right now we are here at Elevate at a workshop organized by the Sri Lankan Chamber of Medical Devices Industry in collaboration with the National Medicines Regulatory Authority. It's definitely going to be an interesting day. So why don't you stay tuned? I'm Netmi and you're with us. Mr. Eran Ranasinghe, the President of the Sri Lanka Chamber of Medical Devices Industry. So, could you tell us about today's program? Well, before I move on to the topic uh, today's workshop, uh, let me warmly welcome Pulse team. Uh, you have been covering all the Chamber events, Sri Lanka Medical Devices Chamber. We are fifth year running. Thank you very much for coming and covering today's event. It's a very important event in the analysis of the medical devices uh, industry. Uh, the NMRA, the regulator, has uh, decided uh, to go on an e-platform. So uh, today is a launch of this uh, e-platform. In fact, it's a training program, familiarization given to the uh, members of our companies. So could you tell us a bit about your industry as well as what this automation system is? Well, uh, you may be knowing that pharmaceuticals and medical devices industry is a, the global, the biggest uh, industry. The pharmaceuticals is valued at about uh, 1,200 billion US dollars and for medical diagnostics and devices about 120 billion. So both together is the biggest uh, industry in the world. Uh, well, the automation uh, that is happening today, uh, you cannot bring down pharmaceuticals or medical devices to the country uh, without a license. Uh, you need to uh, reg uh, register these products uh, at the uh, NMRA, the National Medicine Regulatory Authority, which uh, regulates uh, because, uh, you know, a pharmaceutical or a medical device uh, should be tested and should be certified. So. The regulator, there is a process that gives you a certificate for importation. Otherwise, uh, it will be confiscated at the customs. Yeah. Okay, so could you tell us about your thoughts on the automation system as well as what you think about the NMRA establishing uh, the automation system and how you think it's going to impact? Well, this is a very important step uh, towards transparency and efficiency, I must say. Uh, mainly because all these years uh, we have the regulator working uh, on manual dossiers that the companies submit. Now automation will help uh, to improve the efficiency as well as the transparency in a big way because the com member companies could upload all the documents, the dossiers, relevant information online. So that will help to track the registration status online. And you know, monitor the progress. So it will be a huge step, a huge boon to the industry, I must say. Right now, I'm here with Mr. Tilak Fernando, who is the chairman for the regulatory subcommittee of the Sri Lankan Chamber of Medical Devices Industry. So, could you tell us a bit about today's program and about the collaboration of the NMRA and uh, the Chamber? Yes. Uh, in fact, uh, when we received the uh, request from NMRA, uh, as a Chamber, we welcomed this request and then we were, uh, uh, at, with the discussion we had with our committee members, uh, we have taken a decision, okay, we will give whatever support that they want to make this particular program success because we know that benefit that will come out from this automation program uh, in not only for the chamber but also our membership at large. So it is a timely one and uh, it is very very required uh, requirement in the current day. So could you tell us what do you think are the benefits that the industry will have due to this automation system? Uh, there are many advantages uh, when you think about the uh, automation process when collaboration with uh, individual company with the NMRA. Uh, some some um, efficiency definitely will go, uh, go up. Uh, not only that, even uh, they can submit the dossier from the office rather than going to the uh, NMRA premises. And then uh, there are certain problems that we encountered in the past that when the dossier was submitted to NMRA, uh, companies were finding it difficult to trace the dossiers. 
uh, that uh, issue will can be ironed out uh, i mean totally because the the documents that have been submitted automatically so it is easy for nmr officers to evaluate the dossier and from the pre, uh, importers point of view it is easy for them to submit to them so what are the plans that the nmra and the chamber has for the future yeah currently we are engaged with nmra for different uh, matters uh, one i would say that classification that we have been engaging with nmra for last 3 years it has come to the last 10 uh, we will be finalizing this document very soon and i'm sure that the industry will be benefited very much on that and also we have been uh, uh, dealing with nmra on uh, almost monthly basis to have the meeting with them uh, to discuss the industry issues uh, with NMRA and then uh, this forum we highlight the operational issues as well as policy issues at NMRA. So many issues we are highlighting on behalf of our uh, uh, membership and we are trying, we are managed to get uh, answers from NMRA, solution from NMRA. So that I would say that is a good thing that the chamber side. here with Mr. Shreyana Andaratnaika, who is the program head of the ICT agency. So could you tell us about the, why the uh, NMRA has decided to go forward with the automation? Globally, the pharma industry and the medical device industry are fast growing two industries. Daily uh, research are conducted and come up with the new drugs, new devices, to help the patient um, or to cure the, uh, any illnesses. So in order to get anything, any, any good uh, new findings to the country, you need to be registered and get the license from the NMRA, National Medical Reg Regulatory Authority. So the uh, issue in license process or applying for the license is a lengthy process. Uh, the partner in all this uh, uh, NMRA or the client of NMRA was having a, a lengthy process for registering their application and getting the license. It was a, um, uh, there was a request from cutting down the time and uh, having this uh, license process digitized uh, at NMRA from the government perspective, at the same time, the, the private uh, sector. So that is why the NMRA has decided to digitize the process and streamline the process, and any company uh, can go through the process and get the license. So the, the requirement is getting the new drugs and the new devices, new drugs and the new devices to the country, and uh, um, get them into the needy people. So could you tell us what is the ICT agency's role in the NMA, NMRA um, automation? ICT agency is a national apex body in uh, implementing uh, digitization or implementing uh, uh, ICT for development projects. We have been doing uh, many uh, e-government projects throughout uh, many ministries. Uh, I am managing the health cluster, so we already have gone to hospital. I may, I think you may have heard uh, heard about like uh, we have uh, computerized uh, hospital OPD care, and the patient are given a unique identification, and so that their records are in the hospital servers. Any time they are coming, uh, when they are visiting the doctors, they can doctors can view the patient's profile and get through it and at the same time the patients are prescribed using computers so there is no cheat and no papers. Um, there was a request from uh, NMRA, a chairman at NMRA request the ICT to help digitizing this process and we are the uh, project managers and the uh, project implementation partner. On behalf of the NMRA we are doing the digitization. So moving forward, are you all having any plans to make any changes or how is it going to be? 
Yes, this is the very first time uh, we are going to introduce the digitization for the NMRA people, NMRA officers, at the same time the, the um, NMRA clients, uh, the private sector. So today we are having this uh, awareness or the training program uh, on the digitized process. Um, right now also we are getting a request from the, the clients to have many more uh, modules for them to uh, use the system effectively. Yes, there will be changes. At the same time, the next, this is a very first phase. We, are, we have already digitized the things. Now, uh, the next phase would be integrating the system with the customs and all related department. For example, when the drugs uh, or the devices or anything, you get into the custom, uh, they, their system will be having the information which provide by the NMRA. So integration would be the next uh, phase. Um, and in future, um, the more and more module will be added to the, uh, the system to give a, uh, maybe uh, to provide the facility for the NMRA clients to um, apply their application or submit their application uh, quick and easy way. At the same time, the one important thing I want to mention that NMRA wanted to give a timeline for the each and every application process. So that will be the end. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To keep up with the Pulse of Sri Lanka, you can subscribe to our channel here. To catch our latest videos, click here and here. Keep living it.